Hey there everyone, welcome to Full Stack Django Developer Course. Be freelance ready. The whole objective of this course is to make sure that if any clients come to you with any request, you can put that idea into a web application with a full stack application. The idea behind the course and this entire project came up with a simple email that reached out to me and said, hey Tej, we want to do a paid promotion with you on your YouTube channel. And I realized that what about a business idea that I stand in the middle ground and here is a web page where you can mention all the YouTubers detail like their pricing, their video work and a whole more detail that YouTuber wants to put up. And people can reach out to me in that application and can see we want to do a paid collaboration with this YouTuber and stuff like that. So how would if we design an application from absolute scratch and try to build a business idea behind that. This entire application is not a clone of anything. We have started from the ground up, putting up a business idea, designing everything in Adobe XD and then putting out a web template and putting it in the Django after that. Then I realized why not to put a course on that. So first, let me show you the final product that we'll be building inside this course. Let me give you a quick tour of the website that we are about to build. We have already built this up, so we're gonna show that how and what we have built by the end of this course. Now also the whole idea is simply to have a marketplace for YouTubers that they can come in, anybody can hire them, they can mention their pricing and more detail of the services they're offering. So as you can see at the very top, everything is designed modularity, uh, keeping modularity in mind so that things are scalable and multiple teams can actually work on that. So very first, we are gonna start from there. And the first section that you see up here, this is all controlled from admin panel, the images, the headline, the subheadline, and even the button is controlled by backend admin. Then we have this uh, featured section, which is of course controlled and toggleable from the admin panel so that you can make anybody featured. This section, of course, again, controlled by admin panel. Then we have a separate app for the team, which manages the team. You can upload photo, their name, their role, and their Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn link from these pages. So that is also controlled by admin panel. After that, we have got these uh, tubers section where you can control everything from admin, you can visit anybody's page and we have full information on the YouTubers from the backend, like their name, how much they charge, of course, fictitious and their uh, photo. What is the YouTube link that they want to display here? You can control that from admin. Then we have this section, which is uh, really controllable. You can upload a photo in this section. You can have more videos. Even the source code control is being provided to the user in this section here. Then we have these uh, small information coming up. So that's pretty obvious. Then we have this form, which you can fill up and submit. And this is fully working and it stores the information in the backend that is all working. If you move on to the home page, there is this keyword based search that is working fine. So let's just say if I go ahead and do some search, they put out the result based on that. I can actually filter my result. Let's just say I love somebody who shoots only in the Canon. Maybe some product work is there. I can go ahead and do a search and only people who use these uh, camera can be searched up. I can do search based on category or camera type or if you can have more something in mind, you can go ahead and put that up. Now let me also walk you through that uh, what is the admin panel and how it's looking like. And by the way, forgot almost that in the sign up and sign in section, we are having a lot of controlled over Django messaging framework and we have these registration form and even the Facebook login, we have a detailed work done on that so that you not only can implement Facebook and Google, but also if you wish, I want to implement, let's just say GitHub, you can actually do that. You will have full knowledge of it and you can go ahead and click on the Facebook and they're gonna take you and log in. All the pop-ups and everything are coming up. Mine is like really super fast, so that's why I didn't show you up, but you get the idea that how this is all working. Now let me show you the admin panel of that. So we can go ahead and copy this one and paste it up on a separate admin. So there we go, we're gonna go into admin and this is a fully controlled and customized admin panel, not the regular Django admin panel. You will have full knowledge how to customize even these names and all these fields and everything. So we're gonna discuss that and we're gonna just go ahead and log in. And inside that, as you can see, this is a fully customized admin panel that we have worked on that. You will have full control over their CSS and anything that you want to change, you will have full idea of doing that. Now in this, you can see that we have lots of information going up. For example, sliders can be controlled from here. You can go ahead and upload photo, choose the text, subtitle, whatever you like. You can also control the team section and we, as you can see, we have customized even the table view of the admin wherever it is needed, somewhere in the assignments. So this is all good. In the YouTuber section, you can see we have all the YouTubers and toggleable like who is featured, who is not featured. 
we have fully rich text editor which has the source button as well like source control can be provided to somebody who is like a code one and can add more photos and everything and we have all these features going on up here and if I go back up here this is the higher youtuber where the form is going on like when you submit that form this is all the information that's coming up here so everything is fully customizable not only that we have these social applications being controlled I'm calling it as my dummy login but you get the idea that yes everything is fully detailed fully controllable and this is a gigantic application really amazing one I have tried to include a lot in this course, not just only the social logins, the search feature, but I've tried to keep this project open-ended so that you can take either this business to the next scale or can practice with the 10 included assignment in this course. This will help you to practice what you have just learned now, and it's not gonna be a spoon feeding. This is going to be a real world application development. Now let's go ahead and talk about the prerequisite. I expect that before you take this course, you have basic foundation knowledge of Python. I expect that you can write some of the loops and some of the functions in Python. And that's pretty much it. No further knowledge of the database or anything else is required to take this course. This was one of the most fun course to build up with this new crazy idea. And I'm going to make sure in this course that you absolutely fall in love with Python and Django. I will walk you through how to do more research whenever you need to add some more feature. I will walk you through how to read the documentation. And also the most important part, I will walk you through along with you that how to debug the application when any error comes up. And of course, this course comes up with certification. We have included all the code files. And the most important thing, we have a dedicated team inside the course that is going to help you if you are stuck anywhere or to give you answers to all of your course related questions. And the good thing is that we are rolling out our crazy pricing again. For foreseen future or limited time, we are offering this course at just 299 rupees. Of course, the pricing is subjected to change in the future, but right now we are offering it at this crazy pricing. So go ahead, take a look at some of the free previews, and I'm gonna make sure that by the end of this course, you are absolutely ready to put any idea in the web application, and you become absolutely freelance ready. Let's go ahead and get started in an absolutely fun and amazing course with Full Stack Django Developer.